Hey there, welcome back. Marius here, and today we have Against the Storm and First Impressions. Let me show you what this game is really about and how and why this is so amazing. You have to trust me on this. So, game introduces all the mechanics one by one, so it takes some time until you finally get the full picture of what it is about. So I'm going to minor spoilers, just all hands, just show you what it is. No story spoilers, nothing like that. So for example, at the start, you have no clue there will be three other competitors in this map. So you have a general map where you build those outposts, uh, I don't know, towns, from this starting point, and the one who accumulates the most points is basically the winner of the cycle. Currently, you see, I have built uh, some outposts. That some, some took more time than others, the distance in between is the times, and at this side there is a huge button, basically the cycle ends. Let me show you how it looks like. Uh, you have, you see, the towns, the more I have, the higher uh, number I have, but well, I lose quite big time, right? Not my best, best cycle. So I don't have the resources, the influence rewards, summary, something, something, and the cycle. Now the storm comes in, clears it out, and you start from scratch. But worry not, there are things that changes and improves over time. So, going to mention and show you all the things that the game provides. As you saw, we are we know where the my en enemies competitors will land. There is no fighting with each other, no combat as such, just con friendly competition. Okay, so. First off, let me show you, there are some resources you get from finishing the missions. You see the effects, the rewards. Those resources are spent in the city, so you have the first thing, huge, I don't know, normally it's something like talent tree, so basically you unlock, they are behind the level locks, and then of course you need also resources to spend and get some minor passive boosts that are in every game, in every outpost you get but there are also some blueprints and some quite game-changing effects for example caravan slot i just opened recently then how to unlock these levels yes you saw in the cycle uh, overview there was uh, experience and experience you get from every mission but also there are deeds get experience some uh, cosmetic buildings some other cornerstones they are like achievements you finish something particular you get the result also after a while at the start you don't see that there's daily expedition where a lot of rules are set basically this is this is what this will be about yeah, the only thing you can change is difficulty which of course yield more resources as expected but nah, not going to do that so this is the first thing that you can combine and this is the mechanics but actual game as you saw I previously built five cities out. I call them outposts, probably cities, the better term. But let's see, I will push out hopefully this one guy by making my city here. So how it how it starts? You have a selection, what you can choose. Remember, I should mention I opened this third account caravan at the first. You have only two choices. There are more, uh, these are beavers, humans, RPs and lizards. Each and every one are different. I will explain that a little bit more later. Also, there are resource set that you start with. Uh, I like beavers. Uh, they have bonus of wood cutting. I pick that. Then there's a summary. Just you win by having 14 reputation or lose if wins invasions is 14. Modifiers. This is important. Every biome. This in a background you see different different uh, colors and everything. There are different trees, different looking maps. It's all different wherever you land. So here you see what trees will give and what kind of resources you can expect. For example, I don't see clay here. So I will go with this selection, just add clay in my starting resource. And just that. We don't know what kind of, there's under question mark. So let's see what we have there. Now you, we have some choices we always have choices to select but the choices are given from something here for example once we land there are some uh, modifiers the only dangerous glades can be found oh damn it okay only dangerous glades 
but we have some bonuses as well from the background color you can see that they are every such map they are counted in years every year has three seasons two seasons are particularly important one of them is uh, drizzle where once drizzle hits in there are two positive effects when um storm kicks in remember the game is against the storm so the storm is always there and it brings negative effects and there are levels of hostility so there always will be this one looming darkness but this next one is quite easy to get it's it's with hostility level one we will most likely hit it quite soon and this one is only in level three so we can avoid it if you have hostility level down so hostility seasons storms and yeah dangerous lights another set what sits this particular game alike from previous another ones let's quickly browse around yeah we see all the glades are with some difficulty in it damn it it's bad but no, i'm not going to jump in the details i'm just I'm not even to building any okay i need to build something because i want to show you a few things give me a second so yeah moving around is basically through the forest so you have to cut it down this is where the thing kicks in the hostility for example we see hostility right now because we have villagers and we will have also some woodcutters that cut down the wood so this hostility comes from the uh, forest which you can get you see i have woodcutters it's cutting down the wood so hostility is basically like mother nature i am making enemies with mother nature because i'm cutting down the trees anyways uh, that's how you manage hostility. You see the multipliers, you can decide if you want to remove uh, by having some um, woodcutters less or having some hearts or, or upgrades or bonuses or it all comes in the play. At the corner there are two things that is, well, I need one more thing to pop up uh, to fully explain. I am walking you through all the mechanics the game can up. All the layers of mechanics which makes this absolutely amazing and highly recommended game so here we have two races uh, beavers and humans i have no clue what is the third maybe it's a lizard maybe, maybe it's harpies we will find out sometime soon remember i mentioned different needs so you can see them and how much benefit uh, of this uh, will provide it all comes together to resolve basically the reputation i don't know why it doesn't call reputation but hear me out so um currently we just changed from drizzle to next the clearance after clearance there is storm S when storm kicks in we will have minus resolve so you need to be aware so your people are not leaving if resolve for example i have 10 it will be minus four it's all fine oh damn it we opened uh, okay now we have a difficult question because when the timer ends um around oh five random villagers will be killed cool so i need to finish this request in this limited time providing resources i have nothing so basically it's really really bad at the moment looks really bad also i have a choice you always have to keep the goods which gives you some amount of goods or another chance is providing Queen's Grace, which is basically what you need to finish the game. We'll get to that. Probably not. My people will be killed. Until that, I need to build one house so I can show you that. All right. So now Storm kicks in. You see I have Resolve lowered. I can pass the Storm. The Storm gets every time uh, stronger, stronger. So it's bad. So buildings are also... you have. I have some unlocked from the talent tree, but most of the unlockables coming through this reputation bonus basically uh, you can check again what kind of resources you have in this particular set and now decide four selections one reroll free reroll nothing from that i like okay i like smithy I pick this one you have three to choose oh i want grow absolutely amazing i need something with food yeah nothing of that different resources they provide it's it's all 
together here. Plantation? Yeah, brickyard, fine. Anyways, now I have additional buildings. Uh, in the bottom, you see there are um, two different these these lines. So impatient grows all the time. This reputation is whenever I complete something and do something unique. We'll do that. Uh, for example, yeah, one of the ways is removing this, but there are more ways to get from bonuses from hitting resolve this this marker where your people are super happy and three more things that come into play every year when the storm kicks we are now back in the drizzle bonus hits in newcomers come uh, now i can select what type of how many and which race of people and we know there will be lizards i want more beavers and i will pick not because of the resource sometimes you need that resource but you accept and that's how you get more people there are more ways to get them no worries that's one thing second thing next year every year you have a new cornerstone this basically is a huge boost a huge bonus and you can check what it gives every open cash lowers the hostility by default not not just temporarily but all the time which is quite good but i have another two rerolls i have Ooh, i can have three roots on plant fiber yes plant fiber please so i picked another cornerstone well basically i skipped one so they get just popped up another one sometimes there are without uh, penalties sometimes there are quite big penalties so eh, let's reroll maybe we have something Ooh, this is absolutely insanely good which changes everything how you go play so cornerstones is another one and then the question how to get this well we have already quite patients going on what's going on i need this reputation reputation by the way you see those blue, blue little bo uh, pointers whenever you get the full block chunk uh it will give you another selection of building you can check there will be four given choices at the start actually i think it's three i unlocked the fourth one for all the buildings you can have it will give you like again okay, pick one so that changes how you will play the game the question you might ask okay but how to get those points here are 11 orders there are like quests mini quests you pick up and you always another have a choice that's randomly selected either give me 16 resolve for beavers for 30 minutes that's quite challenging to get or have sheltered villagers and 20 wood this is easier to get i'm going with this one and now i select again a randomized choice but choice nonetheless that you can pick and and, and see which way you're going now as you can see i have these quests which to be fair let me let me just pop up randomly which should be finished i'll show you how it looks like so the, essentially what it gives corner stores are randomized but you choose them the biomes and bonuses are randomized that uh, you can choose them buildings are given a random selection you choose them starting caravan are randomized you choose them all the time you have the choices you see i just fulfill the order i can uh, select when to give in sometimes that's a bad uh, season to give in sometimes it's not by the way also the game provides you the pause so you can do the management stuff there was one map where one of the rules of this, this playthrough was there are no pauses allowed like not only in game but like gameplay changes and it was quite frustrating though all the time you can slow the time but it is all the time running so you are on ticking clock which changes again how i play i, I because i don't have such so much time to go through and, and read everything but anyways look pay attention to the bars at the bottom when i finish it blue bar comes one full and the impatience is removed so basically you have not 14 in patients but you have 28 something or 27 because whenever block is added 
uh, this block is removed. So you are pushing back, back the timer. There are many factors that in, impact the influence. For example, the people leaving your town, your outpost. Oh yeah, see, five of my people will just die. Boom, 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 because I missed the timer. The game is all the time changing, giving you choices, and you have to adapt and change with it. For example, I have one new block, I have another new select selection that I can pick, and planks, carpenter, I'm randomly picking, it's a bad choice. And I can pick next two orders, by the way, there are timers that shows whenever you can, uh, we we'll pick this one, and we'll pick uh, better this one. Ah, yeah, by the way, I just picked seven minutes timer. It's another something new that I unlock. Normally, there are no well, time limited these these uh, orders, but well, I just screwed up. Anyways, <laughs> so many layers of reputation. Um, well, not reputation, it's called resolve to manage for all three uh, the races out of four. Maybe there will be fifth or even more. Then there is um, this hostility level you need to check. Uh, then you need to have uh, check the seasons. There are some seasons that are absolutely favorable when, when the drizzle hits, you want to reveal or, or, or something or give in or because it's extra bonus. There are absolutely insane randomizing cards. Then you have to manage these uh, blades I don't know what it is. Sometimes there are some easy tasks. Sometimes it's absolutely insane. For example, here, this I will not be able to provide because these resources are not made yet. Uh, then you have to manage, by the way, every one of them eat. Yes, they, they need food uh, that you need to provide. They also need warmth. Warmth is kept by chopping down the same trees. They have been burned. That's under the fuel so many levels, so many things, and so many insane scenarios. So, I will summarize and switch quickly to... Uh, no, I can't switch. I close the Steam, Steam um, page, doesn't matter. Uh, I will summarize. There are so many things that make your gameplay every time unique. For example, this thing, Improvised Tools. Oh boy, it's one of the best things to pick up because you just pop up the blades and gather the single tools. Anyway, uh, this is interesting part. Some will say, no, I hate it. It's randomized. It's, I've read some absolutely wrong opinion. Sorry, but yes, there are wrong opinions about the game. In Steam review, the, someone wrote, oh, it's a puzzle game. No, 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 hell no. Imagine puzzle, that, that the simplest form of puzzle, the ones that you put with pieces together. Every piece fits only with one particular piece together and you can come up with only one picture, no other ways. And in most of the games where there's a puzzle, you need to find a lock be behind the statue to open one particular set. Everything is set in direct order especially the simplest forms of the puzzle. Sometimes there are two or three ways. This game is literally what? everything is opposite uh, of the puzzle. Every time you pick a different building that you will have different resource. Every time there are cornerstones, you pick something different. It is different in every way. There is no possible way that you will have the same outcome or the same journey through. It's nothing like a puzzle. I've just realized how insanely wrong that comment was it's a puzzle game no it is not a typical uh city builder and i will just quickly mention i will make every other city builders look bad because what all other city builders have in common whenever you start the set starting settlement for example i'm now thinking that uh, Timberborn has two different beaver races, so if you choose one or another, they're a bit different gameplay. But let's take some simpler example. Tropical, uh, Age of Empires, Banished, you name it where you have all the time everything starts the same. Whenever you switch the new map or new scenario, 
You will have a woodcutter, you will have a home to live, you will have the same farm, you will have hunter with the stock because you don't have farming yet. The pattern is all the time the same. There, there is no replayability whatsoever. The crusade, the stronghold, you name it, they all have the same. Uh, now I will call it uh, really downside because it's all the same. It, from one side, you know exactly what you will be doing. From other side, it's boring as hell to do exact same thing over and over and over and over again. This game solves it because in the core, all the techniques, everything that it is having is... Okay, here, four buildings, pick one. Your choice. Four cornerstones, pick one. Orders, pick what you want. And you make the journey and there are huge selection. What I wanted to show in, uh, I need to summarize, I need to close the video, otherwise it's too complex to explain. The game is in early access. The early access, if you read the notes, uh, developers are saying, well, we want it to have, uh, to be in um, early access for about half a year, because they want to add more race, or, uh, more different races, they want more, uh, events more different 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 so basically add more nothing that is currently out there is limited by time by blockers by buildings you can't access nothing it's literally what well, i i'm saying that not developers it's literally like finished game but they want to make it even more that's the only early access so from that side these guys are amazing they made absolutely amazing game and they are humble and saying we want to give you more where there are games like settlement survival that is and we are out of early access there's nothing to do it it's it's un, it's it's not ready even to be published that is and we are done these guys are like no they are actually done but they're like we want to make more which is thank you thank you for being so much reserved and honest and, and humble that I, I I don't see reason why this game this game in early access how it, how it is now is way polished than most of the games through the whole year that has been released and then it's like yeah well there's no balance okay this is bad okay this is bad okay this is not working this is amazing game and this randomizing I encourage you jumping and test it at the first i was like eh, what is this i don't have my setup buildings how i used to have after a while it's like oh that's why i want to return to game because every single time i land in here it's different outcome and it is amazing so my first impressions guys this is this is a real gem this is absolutely amazing game don't read those insanely wrong comments about yeah it looks like mobile game oh, it's a puzzle do you even understand what you said i don't think you understand anyways there are so much more to unlock to see i don't even have the full potential i have i don't know somewhere in the middle of all the sets and everything i trust there will be something more race more events more buildings more i will be just oh boy i haven't seen yet anything and difficulty levels and, and oh my god you need to check it out guys I they will kill my people this is another thing you can't kind of lose there is forced iron will there are no save games nothing you play if everything will go bad and I lose only thing what will happen I will be thrown back in the main area where all my competitors will have successful high uh, score uh, villages outposts I will have yeah, nothing yeah by the way what I wanted to show you is the trader the trader once it comes it offers a goods that you don't want that what you want is in the corner you have another you can unlock buildings through here yes this is another way of course you need to have amber so you need to sell something so you need to produce something yes we can do that it's Another, I, I like to abuse it quite a lot. For example, now I can get my hands on herbalist camps without act going through the usual unlocking option. Uh, and yeah, I don't have any, any spare amber, but you get the idea. 
So these uh, trainings are absolutely amazing. And there are some cornerstones that give you bonus, but instead you are refusing and there will be no more traders. So that's always a trick and trade. What you choose, what you don't. Anyways, I need to shut up. I need to shut up. Close the video, close the video. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Have you played? Have you seen? Uh, this is small indie game. It's there are some some highlights, of course. I'm not the only one, but I can't fully express how this game is amazing in weird, interesting ways that are not a regular default city builders. All right, all right. I'm shutting up, and I let you. I let you do your thing and we will meet in other videos as always. Cheers.